Hi guys, I'm Tom Selder from Lightyear, and we foresee a major problem. Because car usage is set to double by 2040. And why? Because one billion people are going to rise to the same prosperity level as we are, <laughs> the lucky ones, right now. So, in order to reduce this, caused by cars, every major automaker is going to be electric. Tesla was the first one, everybody is following. But, did we consider this? Only 3% of the world has access to charging points. Charging points which are delicately needed to drive electric cars. So what we can do is heavily invest in upgrading the infrastructure, especially in the blue dots, it's quite expensive. Or we could create a car which charges itself. And we are solving the scaling problem by making a car which is ready for every corner of this planet. And we already made two prototypes. These are electric cars which drive on solar power, which we made. We drove these cars in Australia during the World Solar Challenge. And we won three times. We competed three times, we won three times. And we are the first to create a family car on solar power. And now it's time to take the next step. We are going to make the electric car that charges itself. So what does it look like? You have a range of 800 kilometers and you only need to charge once in two months or three months. And we're going to do this like this. First, we are targeting a high-end market. We are going to develop our brand, develop the technologies, and we start a production. And this is the car, ready for your high-end market. We already sold this car in the Netherlands, and we're going to expand to other markets as well. We also published, the, published our design, and this is the media traction we've got from only publishing this picture. And from this media traction, we got 47 reservations, which 16 of them are already being paid. So 16 customers already in our company. Our roadmap for the next steps is to finish our R&D milestones in June 2018. But remember, we are already five years ahead of every other car maker because we have three prototypes already. And the next prototype will be ready the end of 2018. And now we need you to join us on our mission. I'm Tom Selton from Lightyear. i see you in 2019. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Perfect end. <laughs> Thank you, well. I am very uh, curious to see what the jury has to say. Uh, question, so yeah. why do you want to create your own car versus just providing this technology for you know, like existing car producers that know much more about car production than you do? Good question. So we had um, contacts with the OEMs. Uh, we talked with them about the possibilities of driving on solar power. The feedback we've got is that they really do not believe us uh, in the first place. <laughs> we showed that we already made three cars. We showed that we can drive 1,000 kilometers on one single charge in Australia. And then they say, yeah, it's Australia. It's just because it's good weather over there. But we made our calculations. And in the Netherlands, we can drive 10,000 kilometers not with these prototypes, but with the car, this car we are going to build. So 10,000 solar kilometers with this car. And how are we going to do this? Because we have sort of a different, I think, approach of designing a car. Normally you think you have an electric car which consumes like an amount of energy, and it's a, a lot. And you have a solar panel on top, which Tesla is doing, and it's really small, and it only provides you a little energy. So what we are going to do is create a car which consumes less energy, we're going to reduce the battery weight. If we reduce the battery weight, we can reduce the structure weight of the car. If we are using carbon, mo carbon fiber as a material, for example, we can then again increase the, uh, decrease the weight. And it's sort of a cycle which you're in. If you decrease the battery weight, you can decrease the weight of your car. And if you can decrease the weight of your car, you can also heighten your car. And underneath the car, we're sort of going to create uh, a more smooth way of, of um, 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 yeah reducing the aerodynamics. So instead of creating a car which looks like the Tesla over there, our car is really different. So 
So, and then again, we also have a solar panel, which is four square meters, not this tiny solar panel on a Tesla, four square meters of solar energy. And then we can level this energy use of the car with the energy yield of the car. But you need to build it from scratch upon. It's, you cannot implement solar energy on existing cars right now. So that's a long answer to your question. <laughs> Yeah. And you're producing for to launch. Uh, what markets are these reservations coming from, and where are you potentially commercializing this? So first, due to serviceability, uh, we are focusing on the Dutch market right now. Okay. Uh, the most of the reservations are coming from, uh, the, of course, the Netherlands, but also from Spain, and we have some from the United States. Uh, but first, we need to create a car which is road legal yeah. in Western Europe, um, due to homologation. Uh, but also serviceability, because the first 10 cars we need to build, they must be the best cars we ever made, actually. They must have the highest serviceability, so that every customer, the first 10, are so excited about this car uh, that we can sort of build on this brand. And that was my slide about the first step. First step is to create a brand um, of driving energy independent vehicles. And this does not exist yet. Keep flipping that. Um, wh where is your competitive advantage besides first moving, first mover advantage? Sorry? Okay. What is your competitive, competitive advantage? Wh where are the IPRs? So the actually competitive advantage is the fact that, I sort of like, tried to explain it, um, the fact that we designed the car in such a different way that we reduced the weight. For example, a Tesla weighs 2,000 kilograms. We are going to make a car which weighs 700 kilograms, providing four seats. Um, and then again, we increase our uh, solar panel size, and we do it in such a way that um, the, solar, the solar panel size is um, independent of the fact that if you hide one cell, for example, then not the whole array of, of cells will drop their wallet. Thank you, Tom so Titan from Lightyear. I think there's more time after to answer questions. Thank you. Give I it up.